call the unexpected call for the next one. Here, Christine. In fourth grade, they, they had an instrument demonstration in the school, and this is when the uh, band instruments started in the school in fourth grade. So they came and demonstrated all these different instruments, and I came home and told my mom I wanted to play the oboe. <clears throat> so she said, that's very interesting, um, but was there any other instrument that you wanted to play? So I said, well, yeah, I also kind of like the clarinet. She says, clarinet, oh, that's great, why don't you play the clarinet? And so it turned out that mom didn't want me to play the oboe because she thought that the oboe was a much more restricted instrument that, you know, she thinks of the oboe as being used in cl Western classical music, you know, orchestras or chamber groups, and that's pretty much it in her view. And so, the, but the clarinet, she thought, well, you can play classical music, you can play jazz, you can do a lot of different things, popular music. So she, that's why she steered me towards the clarinet. Um, and then after about another year or two, I added the tenor saxophone, and um, the pl I still play clarinet, and I've added other saxophones uh, after that. <laughs> Boston, I met Warren Sanders, and Warren uh, at that time had been studying Indian classical music and West African music and different things, and as a composer he was bringing these different elements into his compositions and also into his instructions for improvisation. And I as a jazz musician uh, was very interested in different approaches to improvisations. Warren introduced me to Bismillah Khan through a recording. Bismillah Khan played uh, the Shehnai, which is a, it's kind of like a double reed instrument. It's an indigenous Indian instrument, which is sort of like an oboe, but it's, it has a double reed, but it's actually a six layer reed. It's three layers and three layers put together. I never really wanted to play the Shehnai because I felt like, you know, in this lifetime, the saxophone is really my main instrument. And that's what I want to focus on. And I don't really want to start, you know, going over and start learning, let me learn Shanai or whatever. And because that's a whole other lifetime of work, just learning to play the instrument and getting through all the technical issues. sense I sort of came full circle and you know kind of came back to this double reed which I wanted to start off with in the beginning the oboe and so somehow I feel like there's some kind of a connection there. Mm -hmm. 